Hi everyone, Dr. Sean Flynn here. Hope everyone's doing great. Uh, today we're going to talk about zirconia crowns. So there are many types of crowns and materials that are used. The most common are metal, porcelain, porcelain fused to metal, resin, ceramic. However, zirconia is and has become more and more popular. The reasons why you would get a zirconia crown, or usually crowns in general, is either the tooth is fractured, or there's a worn down tooth, or maybe we need to cosmetically fix the tooth. Um, so there's many different reasons. Maybe there's some recurrent decay under an existing restoration. So there's many different reasons why we may need a crown. Now zirconia itself is a type of ceramic or zirconium oxide that's actually stronger than porcelain and actually stronger than some metal alloys. It, it also causes less damage on opposing teeth than those other types of crowns, especially porcelain. When we have a porcelain fused to metal, the porcelain part of it can actually start wearing down the opposing dentition a, a lot. So the zirconia helps by not letting that happen as readily. Now there are two types of zirconia. There uh, is a framework zirconia, which is best for anterior and posterior multi-unit and bridges. Now this is a more natural looking zirconia. Whereas the other type was a full contour zirconia is usually uh, made from one material. So it's not going to be as natural looking. Um, the advantage of zirconia crowns is they're the most durable monolithic ceramic because it's made out of, um, it's made without any added materials. So it's stronger, stiffer, um, it's going to prevent chipping, um, and it can take higher loads of pressure. Now the disadvantage is there's a zirconia crown. I probably, my, probably my, also my main disadvantage is that it doesn't match easily to existing teeth in terms of shade. So you don't really get a great shade match. Um, it has a lot of translucency issues. So usually I like to keep the zirconia crowns um, probably like around the sec, especially if the patient doesn't show their first molars when they smile, I'll put it on a first molar but usually second molars um, is where I like to place zirconia crowns. Now in terms of the length that zirconia crowns last, I would have to say, um, seeing just patients over the years, zirconia crowns last much longer. And I only see those chipping. When I do PFMs or have patients that have PFMs because they don't want to upgrade to zirconia, we see a lot of fractures in those because there's two materials, porcelain and metal, used together. so it can't take that on as much load as the zirconia. So to basically summarize, definitely recommend zirconia crowns, first molars, second molars, they're durable, they don't break, they cause less damage to opposing dentition, they're just a better crown material to go in my instance, especially when we're looking at the very back posterior part of the mouth. Okay? Well, if you guys have any questions at all, please let me know. Uh, again, my name is Dr. Sean Flynn. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye.